What's up guys, today we're playing some fast indoors HVZ. The objective for the humans is to deliver 3 out of 5 plush Pokeball toys from one end of the room to the other. The human team can only carry one of these at a time, and the original zombie gets to throw howlers to tag people out. Zombies have a 15 second stun timer, in which they can still walk, but they cannot run or tag. In this gameplay, I'm only using one of my MHP-15s, because the other one has some issues with the pusher right now. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. The Pokeballs are kind of scattered, most of them. Um, there's two directly behind the stage, and there's two to the, to the left of the stage. So we're probably better off going to the left. Oh, he missed with the howler. Oh no. Goonie's already been turned. Wilbur, the guy with the speaker on his stampede, has grabbed the first Pokeball, so I'm gonna guard him now. Alright, someone cover outside. I'll cover behind. All right, let's go up this aisle. Oh, that's empty. As you can hear, we made it that the zombies have to count their respawn timers out loud. That means I know exactly when Goonie's about to respawn. I'll kill him. Cap it, cap it. While both the zombies are stunned, Wilbro comes in and places the first Pokeball down on this chair. For more. On the right side of the screen here, you'll notice with the red hair, my girlfriend Ashley has just been tagged as a zombie. It's something I didn't notice at the time, and it ends up coming back to buy me. The human team has just delivered the second Pokeball, they only need one more to win. Now I'm not sure why I didn't notice Ashley here, but she ends up coming up behind me and poking me in the back. Infected. You're as oh my god, I didn't know you were a zombie. I'm not holding any gun. <laughs> 15 seconds, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. And just like that, before I even spawn in as a zombie, the humans bring back the third Pokeball and win the round. On to round two. Count us down. Go, go, go. You got me? Yep. I can only walk. Someone get ready to grab another one. As soon as I place it. All right, first one scored.
Cover, cover. Yep. I got gotcha. you. One, One more. Grab it, Gurney. I'll cover you. Sorry, he's right there. He's moving away. In that round, the humans managed to capture all three Pokeballs insanely quickly. Now for round three. Go. In this round, we decide to have a second original zombie, and she gets to use a pool noodle to tag people. Behind the curtain on the right hand side, Martin gets tagged by a zombie, so now there's out. already three zombies after us. Careful, there's going to be a zombie behind us. Got one ball already. I decide to keep the zombie with the pool noodle occupied and away from my teammates using a tactic known as kiting because the zombie can only move at walking pace while stunned. I can just run away and tag them from a distance without any risk to myself. I think I got you. Yep. <laughs> you can't run. Kiting <laughs> the zombie. Unfortunately for me, I'm the last human alive, so everyone else's zombies coming after me. 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. I had no ammo. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead, son. Game over. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really like using the MHP 15 and worker darts for HVZ. Being able to carry lots of katana mags on me is very useful, especially when this blaster shoots full auto. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, otherwise give a like or a dislike depending on how you enjoyed the gameplay. Till next time.